The Coquel Indian tribe was terminated by the government in 1954. 35 years later, it was successfully restored to federal recognition and tribal sovereignty. That means the tribe became eligible to participate in federal Indian programs and to receive federal funds for tribal education and law enforcement programs. Up until recently, the Coquels never had a reason to start a business in Jackson County. They're facing a shortfall in uh, providing for their membership. In the last two years, Coquel has been betting on the chance to open a Class 2 casino in Medford. It has already purchased the land where Roxy Ann Lane's Bear Creek Driving Range and Kim's Restaurant currently sit. In 1994, the Coquels opened the mill their first Class 3 casino in North Bend. Project manager Judy Metcalf says tribe membership is expected to triple in the next 20 years and revenue from just the one casino will not be enough to provide promised resources to everyone. By pursuing economic development in one of their geographic areas, they're fulfilling their obligation that was given to them by Congress to provide for their tribal members. While the Coquels say building a casino in Medford would be a big win for the community, another tribe disagrees. Michael Rondu, the CEO of Cow Creek Band of the Umpqua Tribe, says it's time to cash out. Unfortunately, their greed has gotten in the way of this. Um, it's almost as if, um, you know, we're not uh, in a position to uh, provide the, the level of services that we want to for our membership, so we're going to take it from you. The Cow Creek Tribe owns Seven Feathers Casino Resort in Canyonville. Twice a year, its tribal members take a portion of casino winnings and put it toward the Cow Creek Umpqua Indian Foundation. In January, the tribe donated more than $400,000 to dozens of nonprofits in southwestern Oregon. We are community builders. We have always worked toward consensus building. Rondu says a Medford casino would not only cost the tribe hundreds of jobs, he says it hurts the local community. Rondu points out people would not have to travel as far to get to Cow Creek's casino if the proposed Cedars at Bear Creek Gaming Hall in Medford is approved. With the loss of revenues at Seven Feathers, we're looking at a significant loss in foundation funding for the very necessary programs that exist here in Jackson County. Metcalf insists any casino built in Jackson County would target a local market. She believes the Coquel Indian tribe would have more money to continue donating to charities in the area. Also, Metcalf says it would bring about 230 jobs to the county and 90% of those positions will be filled by non-tribal members. These jobs are benefited jobs, they have 401k plans, uh, we have opportunities for training and advancement. Covering your news, Ashley Carrasco, News 10.